Hey guys, welcome. Hi. I'm Taymor. You probably know this guy. Kyle. Welcome yep. to a new show, Fanning Out with Harley Quinn. I'm so, so excited to watch this show. I'm a huge fan of this show. I'm a massive, massive, massive Harley Quinn fan. And I'm trying to convince Kyle to watch this show because it's fucking awesome. <laughs> and we can say that on this channel. <laughs> yes, we can. Why is it awesome? To me, this is uh, the show that I think best represents Harley as a character. It's the show that it finally shows her like free from the Joker. She's independent. She's learning to stand on her own. And I love Harley and Batman the Animated Series, but I always detested that relationship between her and the Joker because it, it is pretty toxic. But yeah. As you've told me, yeah. I remember the Batman the Animated Series, which I've seen like forever ago. I don't remember it that well. But I guess I'd never really realized that it was a, an abusive relationship until until people were pointing it out to me. And then you showed me like a deleted scenes or stuff from um, where there's like a different version of um, Suicide Squad. Yeah, from the, I think like the extended version of Suicide Squad. Yeah, which that did seem kind of messed up. But um, yeah, I've heard a lot of people like hate on her character for that reason. So that's why it's like, but you still like her. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, guys, if you know me at all, you know I'm more of a Marvel fan, so. But he's definitely a DC fan. Yes. <laughs> this is a good show. Yes. It's an awesome show. You sure? Yes. Okay. 100%. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Already a fun Come color on. scheme. My fellow whites. Let's My fellow whites? To this pyramid of money. <laughs> Wait, did you really just say that? I don't know, is that what he said? Sure sounded like it. Fucking the poor. <laughs> My fellow whites? Party's over, you pieces of shit. <laughs> this is my money now, so back the fuck Damn. Up. <laughs> I mean, damn. Harley Quinn. I mean, you think we're afraid of the Joker's girlfriend? <laughs> She's got quite a... Holy crap. So here's the deal. <laughs> Are you gonna shut the fuck up so I can talk? Jesus. Oh, just give it a minute, you'll go into shock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it is. So, as I was saying. You made a big mistake coming along. Good lord. She's not exactly alone. That's the Joker. She brought a plus one. <laughs> Joker. Apologies, but your friend Rupert just couldn't face coming out. So, not Mark Hamill. I'm so no. Sad. Where's my body? Putting it, what, what the fuck are you doing? Holy crap! Face off yet? I had this cover! Thought of that great plus one line and then I'm not going to not puppeteer his face. <gasps> <gasps> Listen up, mother Jesus! You better jump <laughs> it's pretty graphic. Right now, or I'm gonna... <laughs> oh my god! But we agreed I'm the muscle. I do the hitting. You're the appetizer. I'm the entree. <laughs> be your partner in crime for real can we talk about this later it's not now when i don't know tomorrow <laughs> jokes on you joker jesus this guy you'll never take us alive <laughs> bats love that fighting spirit harley but in this fight i'm afraid i have they could die uh, don't you mean we? You know I'd love to take you, Puddin, but I'd never deny you the pleasure <gasps> of buying me time to escape. <laughs> hey, hey, but what if I get sent to Arkham? But I'll definitely get you out before breakfast. Love ya. The hell? Oh, Spreading from Gotham's limp so, into its spleen. Commissioner God Burton. help us if you get to Gotham's yep. bladder. Way more disheveled. Yep. How long is he gonna keep doing this? You're festering, Boyle Quinn. That's when Mr. J proposed. Till death do us part. Who's the voice of Harley? Do you know? Kaylee Cuoco. Or maybe a resort oh my God! And as sure Live as I am, yes. he fucks bats. Okay. I know my man will break she me out of Arkham bats. before I spend a single night. <laughs> Six months later. Oh, Mr. J? Hmm? Oh, sorry, my bad. I don't know why you bother coming here. He's never showing up. <laughs> fuck off! Yeah, fuck off. But for the record, he does have a point. Just give me 15 more minutes. Joker's probably still fighting Batman. Three months later. <laughs> <laughs> we do is, two of these. Is way better for the Joker. <laughs> I'm just saying, the Joker's exciting. Jeez. <laughs> he literally made me who I am today. Aww. <laughs> what? He's, He's not, not coming. coming. How the fuck do you know? You're all fucking <laughs> insane. <laughs> Mr. J? No, <gasps> Mr. J? I knew you. Uh, oh 
Lola. Oh, it's you. How did you get that plan? <laughs> I ate an orange and shit out of seed. <laughs> Thanks, Ivy. Okay, let's go. No, I ate orange I'm waiting and shit out of seed. Joker. Yeah, I got it. You know how long you've been saying that? Calendar man? Oh, hi, exactly. He's so prominent for someone I've never even heard of. Calendar man? Happy Arkham anniversary, Harls. Here's your present. Our escape was all over the news, and he has not come to see you. Oh, my God. You're right. Something terrible must have happened to him. <gasps> I hope he's okay. Oh, my God. What do I have to do to prove that Joker does not love you? Uh, you can't. I'm out of here. Do you remember how you diagnosed me? Sure. A classic misanthrope with abandonment issues who befriends plants to avoid human intimacy. Nailed it! Frank, no. you helped me. I can be around people now. You know, I mean, I hate it, but I can do it without vomiting. Harleen Quinzel was the only doctor who ever got through to me. What do you think that she would say to you? Why are you always tied up? Oh, look how square and boring I look. Yeah, you look way better now. Look, I'm help with the patient. Oh, then sure, shoot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a guess that the picture is talking to you. <laughs> Tell her yes, but to stay out of it because we are making progress. The picture says stay out of it because it's making progress. You abandoned me, you lied to me. But this is the last time I am here to break up with you. Oh shit, she's dumping you. No, she's not. She doesn't call the shots. <laughs> yeah, because I'm calling a cab. See you never! Oh, she's doing exactly what I prayed she would. What? what? For fuck's sake. Much as it destroys me to say it, Harley, I was going to insist. This is really the end? Yep. This is it. Let's go. Unless. Unless what? Unless our love is so powerful, even the threat of death can't keep us apart. <gasps> oh, screw it! I'll die for you any day. I'm in! Really? Me too! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, fuck. And this asshole's trying to steal it on live TV. Also, are those razors? All right, kill him. But it's legally blonde, or I'm out. It's Sweet Home Alabama. This day. <laughs> Sad. Hey Riddler, I got some notes on your show. It's over, Riddler. Wait a minute, what are you doing here? Buzz off, Batsy. I'm in the middle of doing a note bit. You're making a big mistake. Cause when my man hears about this, he's gonna come running. Precisely what I'm counting on. So you don't have a riddle so funny it makes people's brains explode? No. I knew it! You won't get away with this, Riddler. If there's no riddle, why are we here? To play a little game. <laughs> Choose one to live and one to die. And she's the Batman to live. Fry. Is it the good kind of acid that gives you superpowers? No. Joker oh, loves no. Batman. Go ahead, in a weird, Mr. backwards J. way. Deep fry that bat. Yeah, <laughs> free the bat. Drop the broad. She went right in. Till death do us part. But that's not what really happened, is it? Now oh, shit. If all that's true, then why'd he say till death do us part? Because he didn't say it to you. It's always been <laughs> him. Gordon never loved me. He only loves Batman. I did my part, so we're square for you bringing me <laughs> Why? Um, but his, his part? But I did set this whole thing up. I've been telling you forever that the Joker's no good for you, but it seemed like such a hard concept for you to understand. So I decided to let you see it for yourself. Ugh. You know, you, you still got me, <laughs> and I care about you so much that I spent my entire Saturday setting up something this fucking stupid. You know, the biggest pain in the ass was just finding 150 <laughs> gallons of <laughs> I told you, you get a Costco car. Joker Graham, knew you'd make it out. Let's forget the past. I sent this idiot to shout, let's have a black. Uh. Just to be clear, you don't find this charming, right? No. Ah. Okay, no, no, cool. No, no, yeah, yeah. No, cool. I mean, look, you know, there's obviously something super romantic about a man who's <laughs> right. another man for you, but but no, no, I'm totally finished with him. Oh, finally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know our damn Wi-Fi password? Harley? It's me, dickhead. Uh, by the way, that's also the Wi-Fi password. What is? It's me, dickhead? Or just 
Me, dickhead. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You look she slightly fantastic. altered her, her, her look. You look. treated me bad. What? You lied to me. Oh. You never loved me. My motives are never clear. I'm an agent of chaos. That's what you love about me. Not anymore. We're through. Oh, yeah. This again? Let me make this clear. You don't ever break up with me. I'm the top supervillain in Gotham. Not for long, because you're looking at your replacement. <laughs> Replace me? I created you. You won't even get out of this building alive unless I let you. <laughs> Bring it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, what does she have to lose at this point? Yep. <laughs> Death, do us part. Huh? Fine, killer. Wow. <laughs> so in this, that's where she changes from the mallet to the base. Yeah, baseball that. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm guessing them being goons of Joker, they don't really care. <laughs> God, this is so violent. <laughs> it's a very violent show. Hey, I was just gonna see if you need any. Badass. <laughs> Love the new look. Gonna go pick up some Thai food, some of mine. Just, just fucking text it. <laughs> it's cream. Oh, <laughs> but I do no, have to agree. Texting is so efficient. Just yeah. Look on your Always. Face when of course. I'm running this town. Alrighty, that was the very first episode of Harley Quinn. So, what did you think? Extremely violent. And were you shocked that it was that violent? Yeah. Well, yeah, because it's a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's extremely violent, and um, they say the f word in a cartoon. I think Rick and Morty might do that, but I don't know. I think they censor it or something. This is just like, it's real extreme. It is, but I do think it's very fitting for a character like Harley. I think if it wasn't the way it's portrayed, where it's all like lighthearted, it would be a lot more shocking, but they make it, they play it off as so lighthearted. Yeah. Well, it's like horrific. <laughs> it's going on all the time. Uh, <laughs> you're absolutely right. No, I remember the first time I watched this, I was totally blown away by it because it's so accurate, I feel, to to just her her personality, the tone of the show. I've got DC Comics fans out there who uh, have read Harley Quinn or uh, like the New 52 Harley Quinn by um, Jimmy Palmiotti or Amanda Connor. This show kind of follows that format of her um, going off on her own type of thing. Yeah. So I'm guessing that's pretty new because yeah. for like the longest time she was just kind of the other way. Yeah. Like, so I'm curious. Yes. Because you're a big fan of Harley. Uh-huh. Were you also a fan of hers when she was in the old way? Yeah, uh, yeah. even uh, all the way back to like Batman the Animated Series, I was a fan of her. Because I always loved just who she is as a person. You know, she's very, she's very quirky. She, you know, she kind of does her own thing. Um, but it's funny because like, I always liked the episodes where it was just like her and Ivy going on adventures together. Anytime she's like with the Joker, it's just like, it's always reduced to just being like a henchwoman. She doesn't really have much of a personality. It's kind well, of- Well, like, yeah, I mean, because like her character, isn't she like- Originally, I think that's, she was, yeah. Supposed she was to only be. supposed to be a one-off character originally. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think Paul Dini or Bruce Tim intended for her to, to ever be this popular. But even I think I, I did see an interview where Paul Dini was even talking about like, he never intended for Harley's state with the Joker. Oh. Yeah, like forever. Like he always intended her for to go on, go off and do new things. Hmm. Yeah, cause her design, like the idea, right? Is that he's the Joker card, but she's all the rest of them because yeah. she has all the different shapes. Different on shapes, her. yeah. Also, I noticed, is that, there's a star there? Oh, that's part of it, right? Yeah. That's like part of the change. Cause she's not trying to be the spades and the... the spades. Well, she still has the spades, oh, the diamonds okay. and the, yeah. But there's no star card in the mix. Yeah, I don't think there's any star card in the mix. No, um, the celebrity. I love that that is the direction the comics are taking. I love the direction that the show is taking. I love even the direction that 
the DCEU is even taking that direction. So I'm I'm actually pretty happy about that. Cool, yeah, because I was gonna say, when I saw Suicide Squad, she still seemed kind of like a yeah. obsessed with Well, everything, you know, post, post Suicide Squad, like Birds of, from Birds oh, of Prey. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, I thought she was great in Suicide Squad, but I also... Yes, it was... Uh, was uncomfortable with a lot of that still. Yeah, because it was a little hot. But yeah, no, I overall, I loved the episode. I thought it was very violent. I thought it was super funny, strangely. <laughs> Even though I felt weird about it, but it's <laughs> it's a comedy, right? Like it's yeah, it's be, it's supposed to be a comedy. Like yeah. there's nothing dramatic about what's going on. Here. <laughs> Not really. It's so like crass and hard to ever like take seriously. Um, but I think it works. It's really fun. Like it's truly an adult show, though. There's nothing kid friendly yeah, about this absolutely show. Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> and I and I and I and that's what I, that's what I like about it. Is I like that... I like Commissioner Gordon and how he's just like, uh, <laughs> like everything's just like, uh, uh, fine. <laughs> and then Batman, I don't even. <laughs> it's so not like Batman. Like it's Batman in terms of the tone and the outfit and right. the voice, but not at all in terms of like because he's even part of the joke. It seems <laughs> as well. Like it's weird. Um. <laughs> right, because I think I remember, because at one point when we were watching, I think you were just you're just going like, this is a different DC universe than what like you're used to seeing. <laughs> yeah, it's very different. <laughs> yeah, because even in Batman the Animated Series especially, it's very mm -hmm. serious. Very. And yeah. like, she's like, ah, ha, ha, ha. But tonally, it's not lighthearted. It's not. No, it's very, it has a very film noir. And that's normally what I yeah. think of when I think of Batman is very kind of like, Burr. But I really dig this. I think this is a smart direction, especially mm -hmm. since, you know, that's kind of the cool thing to do right now. Right. With, like, what they did with, I know I'm going to go there, but with, like, Guardians of the Galaxy, for example, yeah. or Thor Ragnarok, like, take some serious things and make them very lighthearted, and it's just fun. I, it's kind of uh, twisted, but it's But fun. it's, yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. I, I dug it. I'm ready for the next one. Yep. Let's, let's do it. All right, guys, and that's it. Thanks for fanning out with us. Fans out.